Uh, my name is Pamela Holstein and I'm a printmaker and I also make 3D sculptural assemblages, mainly box art. I suppose all my life I've always liked painting and drawing and then I went to art college and I was determined to keep it up after college and not, not sort of go to art college and then be an artist once in my life. Uh, I've been in two studios. Uh, I was in 401 and a half in Wandsworth when I lived in London and then I've been in a studio uh, in central Liverpool. Um, quite like working in a studio, I like being around other artists. Uh, prefer that to working at home to be honest. Uh, I think I got interested in bugs when I was at college. Uh, I saw a programme with the artist Helen Chadwick and she was eating a dinner based around disgust so they were eating food that was served in bedpans and they were eating insects and I was studying ceramics at the time so I started putting insects on plates and it sort of went on from there. I do all my own printmaking, uh, I tend to work in printmaking studios when there's a group class on. So I've learnt the basics and then I just sort of progress a piece of work and if I need some technical assistance, I'll ask. My dream as an artist, I suppose, would be the similar to many artists in just having the space and the finance to get on with it and not have to work and do other jobs. Our Hungry Pan Jandrum was based on a manager I used to have. Uh, she had a very high opinion of herself. Not everybody who worked with her felt the same way. Uh, having worked with this woman who was a bit of a bully, uh, my release was to make this artwork uh, of a pelican trying to swim and it was covered in oil. So I made this image about that because people, things are in the paper and then they're gone the next day or they're on the internet and then something else takes a place. Whereas I wanted people to remember this and the environmental impact. The exhibition in Penny Lane came about because I joined up with two friends who were also artists and who started looking for opportunities to exhibit locally. I was really delighted um, with the venue. Um, because I'm an artist who also works in other ways to earn money, uh, that influences some of the artwork that I produce. So in one job that I had, um, when I told my colleagues I was an artist, they said, can you make a piece of work about this place? And that's where progress was slow and painful, uh, originated from which is a snail pulling the wheelbarrow full of salt. That was about a particularly frustrating work environment where it was hard to achieve anything of any substance. I also managed to exhibit that piece of work in a local open exhibition uh, in a gallery that was owned by that particular organisation. So I got my own back. And Gunnar the sheep, he was a portrait of an amazing uh, character that I met up in a farm on the Lake District and this was also through work where I went on a behaviour training course. He was a pet in that particular farm and he was an amazing character. I was really inspired by him uh, and so I made a portrait of him. The boxes are about museums and collections of natural history departments. So lots of dead animals, and dead insects killed and collected so they can be studied. There's so many of these around the world, so much unnecessary death I feel and soon they'll be all we have of the records of those animals because of the extinction that's going on at the moment.